Hello everyone, today we're going to start talking about our two-point project, kind of as a review because we've already went over in class. Um, so our key points for this two-point project, we have our five buildings, so I'll be coming around and double check to make sure that you have them. They need to be varying heights and functions, so I have a shop, I have a hotel, I have an apartment, I have a home, all these different types of things for these creatures, for number two, to be able to live in. So two, I need to see three of these different creatures. They can be human-like, or they can just be creatures that you've created, and they need to be visible and living within these five buildings and the environment around them. I also need you to alter the environment and the buildings so that the creatures can live a normal life. So if we think about us as humans, there's actually somebody that went out and created a chair that works for us. They created a door and the handle and the height that works for us. Now, you actually have to step into the shoes of your creatures and alter this environment so it works for them. So in my final project, you guys will see that I actually have a bird-like creature. So if I have a bird-like creature, they're going to fold their wings. And basically, if they want to enter a door, they'll use like these little keypads. So they'll actually touch, and it's kind of like a little bio signature or something like that. If they're going to land, they have to have a perch. They need to have all of these different like accommodations and alterations of their environment so that they can live comfortably. And also, last but not least, once I've checked all of these things up top, one, two, and three, I also need to see that on your final project, you have a zero to five value range to show shading and depth. So your zero is your white and your five is your black and then you have three steps in between. So just to review again really quickly with our two point perspective. One, you need that horizon line and just to make it easier on you, line up your ruler at the edge of the paper, scoot it up as high as you want, lay it down. And there's your horizon line. So that's where your grass and your sky touch. Next, you need those two vanishing points. Anywhere on this line, you are able to put two dots. If you put them really close together, you're making it tougher on yourself. So I just kind of chose two random points. I'm also going to pick one more point down here, anywhere I want to, to create that triangle shape that you guys saw in your packet. Choose right here, connect this dot to this dot. Make sure both sides touch completely before you draw your line. This dot to this dot. Draw that line. And now I'm going to start skedaddling pretty quick because you guys know most of this. So they start telling you to pick out points from here. I'm only going to do a couple. And points on this side to help you establish your walkways. You don't necessarily have to have this, but it's basically a good like anchor point for you guys to be able to build your buildings behind it. So that's why they ask you to do it in the packet. So connect this one back, and this one goes all the way back because it's our first one to establish our concrete. Take this dot back to this dot, and you notice that we go backwards, opposite. From now on, I connect this one over there, but I only do it to the edge of that line right there. There we go. Lay it down, draw it out. It is so much easier to use your ruler, but whenever you start getting comfortable and you start being able to lock your wrist, you can actually do this pretty quickly without a ruler too. If you don't ever get to that point, that's A-OK. -okay. Something that I've been practicing for years. Okay, Go opposite again, left hand vanishing point to my dots on this side. Make sure I actually get the right dot. There we go. And you can always add more of these if you want to. I'm just doing it really quickly so we can go over it again. Okay. Draw this straight line down. Remember that it needs to be parallel with the edge of the paper. Once I'm not as blurry. Why not? Okay. So I go straight down from here. Try that again. bit of trouble. There we go. Connect the bottom of this to your right hand vanishing point. That's just to establish how thick I want this concrete to be. Okay, 
Now for my buildings. I typically start from the inside of this one just to establish, you know, my general space of where all of these are going. And you notice I actually kept my horizon line in, which is completely different than the packet, which is fine. I do that just so that I'm able to notice later on because you actually do need these lines and in between all of your buildings just to establish where we actually have our grass or our ground touching our sky. Now again, if you want to, line it up with the edge of the paper, scoot it over. I'm just going to lay it down real quick and start these buildings. Go for a medium size, touch the top. And then I start establishing the height of my buildings. Do not forget to start that first. Then you can establish how wide you want these buildings to be. So, do that right about here. Connect that over. Make it a little bit skinnier on this side. And then erase out all the lines that I don't need. Now, if I have a building that's gonna be tucked in behind, but I'm able to see a little bit of the alleyway, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that real quick. So, this is gonna be the first face. So this is number one. Make it a little bit taller. This is gonna be our hotel later on. Take the top of that building, start bringing it back. So this one just requires one additional step that the other one didn't, just to make sure that we got that comfortable and ready to go. Parallel with the edge of the paper. Perfect. Erase out our vanishing point or our horizon line. Oops. Reestablish that line. Now, the only difference between this building and this building is that all of a sudden we have this alleyway. So to be able to see that we can walk into this alleyway, I need to take this vanishing or this edge right here to this vanishing point. Touch it and connect it on back. So that way I have these two buildings and they're all established and I can walk straight in there if I felt like it. So I'm going to go skip ahead. Now remember on your project I needed five buildings. So I've been working on this one on the side. I have my concrete. I have a road on the side if you want it. Just remember that those always go back to the vanishing points too. Then I have one, two, three, four, five buildings. I also started because I got my approval. I have my three creatures. I got my approval to start adding in my value. So remember that I needed zero through five. So here's my five is my darkest. About a four, three, two, one. And then wherever I have pure white is my zero. Once you guys have enough value on this, I actually highly suggest you at least put a white, uh, number one over the whole entire thing. And then later on, once you go over it with your tortilla and blend it out, you guys can actually go back with your eraser and just pull out the little bit of white that you actually need. So just to review really quick with our value, zero is white, five is black, and then we have our two, one, two, and three in the middle. You do not have to have it perfect. You notice on here, you can kind of see my pencil strokes. Now, if you guys want this really, really, really smooth, go over your pencil with one way and then flip it the other way and then keep going in different angles. And then later on, go over it with your tortilla on and you're going to have the most beautiful, smooth value. Promise. Now, on your project, you guys are allowed to do pencil or you're also allowed to do color pencil. Just remember that you can't really get this as smooth. So if you're like me and you want perfection, try to lean more into the pencil. If you really like color, go for it. I can also help you like show how to blend colors and mix them together and those will look really neat. So do not forget five buildings, varying heights and functions, three creatures, alteration of the environment, and our zero to five value range. If you guys have any other questions for me, please let me know. Call me on over and I'd be glad to help. Bye.